Bon, ce, ce matin, la commission... This morning, the commission took a, an important decision to protect the independence of judges and the rule of law in Poland. The commission decided to bring a case to the Court of Justice against uh, Poland. Uh, this is a crucial step in the infringement procedure relating to the Polish law against judiciary powers, which came into force in February of 2020. I need to flag up the fact that the Commission started this infringement procedure in April of 2020. Uh, to this date, the Commission has taken a certain number of measures to express its concern to the Polish authorities about the law on judiciary powers. The latest of such measures was a complementary reasoned opinion in January of this year. We believe that the law on judiciary powers is incompatible with a certain number of uh, fundamental provisions of the treaties. The Commission believes that the law uh, infringes upon the independence of the judiciary in Poland and is incompatible with the primacy of the law of the Union. Courts from directly applying EU law to protect judicial independence, including by using disciplinary proceedings. It also prevents Polish courts from requesting preliminary rulings on such provisions to the Court of Justice. In addition, Polish judges are at risk of being suspended from office and seeing their immunity lifted to allow criminal proceedings against them or to detain them. Such decision would be taken by the disciplinary chamber of the Supreme Court. It is up to member states to decide, to decide whether they want to have a system of judicial immunity. But decisions to lift the immunity of judges should be taken by an independent body. In Poland, the independence and impartiality of the Supreme Court's disciplinary chamber is not guaranteed. Permettez-moi de souligner que la commission... I wish to point out that the Commission will also ask the Court to take interim temporary measures. Um, without such measures, Poland could uh, potentially continue to apply the challenge provisions in their law on the judiciary system. That would create a risk of serious and irreparable damage to the independence of the judiciary in Poland and thus the legal order of the Union. Polish judges are European judges. The Court of Justice, in its interim measures, suspends the provisions empowering the disciplinary chamber of the Supreme Court to decide on the lifting of the immunity of judges, suspends the effects of decisions that the disciplinary chamber has already taken on the lifting of immunity of judges, and suspends the provisions that prevent Polish judges from directly applying EU law protecting judicial independence and from making referrals for preliminary rulings on such questions. To conclude, since it was not possible to resolve our concerns on the law and the judiciary with the Polish authorities, the Commission decided to seize the European Court of Justice on this matter. More broadly speaking, the Commission continues to monitor the situation of the rule of law in all member states, including in Poland. We are doing so via the rule of law mechanism with the Commission's annual rule of law report at its centre. It is a means for, a mem for member states to engage with each other and with the Commission to create a rule of law culture to prevent rule of law issues from arising or deepening and to resolve those that exist. Of course, I'm ready to answer to some questions. Thank you very much.